Okay, so let's do... I've done two readings on Umar Johnson, who is the... One of the leaders in the Hotep movement against uh, sort of reclaiming their blackness. And now I want to do a person called, by request, I just fall everywhere, I swear, Zaza Ali. Now she was working with another person in like the black conscious business community called Boyce Watkins, who is also being sued for fraud. So I wrote down some um, talking points here that I need to go over first because I didn't know who she was at all. Well, apparently she had a retreat that she wanted to do for women. It was supposed to sort of reinvigorate feminine energy and they had a bunch of like yoga and meditation and hiking and stargazing and things like that that they had planned um you did have to pay it wasn't free she she used to be very hotep pro black that's that used to be her main message she most of them in my opinion i'm not a hotep person so most of them really believe that because they have this this savior mentality you know they really believe that in order for them to achieve their wokeness or their spiritual well-being they have to have an enemy and it has to be the white man because white man enslaved the black man and they have to try to break the chains of a white man's society that they live in that used to be her, you know, trying to elevate the consciousness of black people. And so now what's going on is she's sort of holistic now. Now she's sort of in, in you know, in Yolanda Von Zant or however you say her name. She's sort of like that now. She's, she's trying to be the spiritual healing leader. And so she had this retreat. People paid. It was sold out. Um... She raised, apparently, now there's reports that are conflicting. They say she raised $60,000. That's how much she got from everyone altogether. So the retreat was supposed to happen the day before the retreat. The day before. She called or they sent an email to people saying, Sorry, I'm in an accident and the retreat is canceled. Now, apparently it was just a fender bender, but she says she was in an accident and the retreat is canceled. So people were waiting on their refunds because mind you, $60,000 is what she is reported to have had. Well, once people did some digging, it turns out that 30 days prior to her calling everybody or emailing everybody telling that the retreat was canceled 30 days prior to that, the hotel said, well, she never paid a deposit. So we canceled her reservation. So she never put a deposit on a retreat that she had people paid for already. These people had already paid for it and she didn't put a deposit down allegedly. And so the hotel canceled. And so they had people going out. There's a seven of, of swords pops out. Seven of swords is sneaky and underhanded. There's the hermit. She knew what she was doing. So what happened is people asked for refunds. They weren't getting it. They went to the news, you know, how they sort of do like that five on your side type of thing, you know, and they had the channel go out to her business. They thought it was her business. Nope, it just turns out that's where she gets her mail. They went to her last known address. They finally get in touch with her. And she says, I have sent people their money back. That I don't owe anybody anything. 
except those I do business with. That's what she said in an Instagram post. So, apparently, she has not given everybody their money back. Because when one lady said that she did get a refund, one lady said the one that went to the news said she did get a refund, and then Zaza got mad and said, "Okay, now go tell your white reporter I gave you your money back," or something to that effect. But there was another lady who was supposed to get a refund. It was a lot of them actually, sixty thousand dollars worth. Apparently, she's only returned fifteen or sixteen thousand dollars. So where's the other 45, 44? So they said that she still has these people money. She tried to give apparently somebody their money back and PayPal declined the refund and said, well, there's no money in that account. So there's nothing to give you back. Now, Zaza Ali also has had run-ins with the law before. Now, people are calling her a fraud now because apparently you raised $60,000 and you've only returned fifteen. And so, what we're dealing with right now is she has priors. Or just one prior. She, she's not, you know, a hardened criminal or anything like that. But she has one count of conspiracy to commit bank and mail fraud. She has one count convicted of mail fraud. She has three counts convicted of bank fraud. Now, she only got five years probation. So in this instance, this is a very big deal because you are still on probation, apparently, while people are saying you are defrauding them. So we're going to turn them over and see what it says. But her uh, bank and um, mail fraud is she submitted false documents to a lender, a mortgage company, I believe, and said that she had money that she didn't have and had a job that she didn't have. So she's not known for her complete honesty. She has a, a, uh, a past of being fraudulent. Her first car is the King of Pentacles. Now, she was arrested back then with 17 other people in that mail and bank fraud, but they weren't working together. There was just a sting that happened over the course of two years. But the King of Pentacles is what pops up in your, your first card. Death is what pops up second. The eight, or those the seven of wands that is defending. The Knight of Wands is Serratic Energy. The Ace of Swords, that is Truth. The Six of Pentacles, that is Sharing or even Begging. There is the Queen of Cups, that's in your fear. The Five of Wands, that is Bickering and Fighting. You are fighting over money. There is the Empress that's in your hopes, and your outcome is the Three of Wands. Now, let's go back to the beginning. The King of Pentacles, I don't know who that is to you, but I think this may be a money man, which started your decline. He changed everything. Whoever this is, changed everything. You got in, you know, you were, you were always a little different when it comes to your honesty. But there's a money man around you that showed you how best to do this without necessarily being caught. There's defending you are right now in a state of defense. This is why this is your base. You are defending yourself against those who you feel are attacking you. This is the Knight of Wands or the, the 
The Knight of Wands is a movement card. That's sort of, um, it usually indicates like new job, new money. But in your case, this could just be an outlook card. This is determination. This is um, some change. This is major change. This is also a change. This is truth. This is victory. That's what's on your mind. You want to come out on top. This, the Six of Pentacles is a card of begging. Not necessarily in your case, begging, begging as in please give me, but because it's right across from the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is a card of bickering. So the source of your contention, the source of your fighting is, of course, around money. Because what you had going on was you asked people for money. In exchange for a, a retreat for reinvigorating a person's femininity, their feminine energy. So you said, let's get together. You pay all this money, and then I will show you how to be well with your femininity. Now, whoever showed you how to get away with such things, they knew about this. They knew about it. This was not all you. I don't know who the money man is to you. But Boyce Watkins is not a businessman either, apparently, according to some. So I don't think it was him, but I don't really know who's around you because I don't know all that much about you. But that's why you have to defend now, because believe it or not, this is all about money. It's not necessarily your message. People didn't have a problem with your message. They have a problem with your dealings. There is another person in your fear. This is the Queen of Cups. This is a person who this could just be a woman, women in general, because the cup is an emotional card and this is a queen cup. So this is probably just the women that are coming after you. Mind you, you are still on probation. I do believe. And like I said, right across from the change and change and money is bickering. You never put down a deposit on the hotel. Now there is a theory out there that the reason you didn't put down the deposit is because you had no intention on it. What you did, according to them, is you took the money from the people who gave you the money for the retreat. You had all intention on canceling. You took the money from the retreat. You paid the things that you needed to pay. All the stuff that you wanted in your personal life. This had nothing to do with the hotel. The stuff in your personal life that you needed money for, like Umar. And then, once the retreat got close, you cancel. But you keep money. People are saying, okay, fine. If you're going to cancel, where is my money? There's the bickering. There's the fighting. That's why you fear it. Your fear and your hope, unfortunately for you, I always say it's a good thing if your fear and your hope does not align. But your, no, your fear and your outcome and your fear and your hope is that they will forget about this and it will blow over. You want to repair your image, repair your, this, this is the perfect card for you. Because the Empress card is about feminine energy. That's what you want. You want this to sort of be, oh, sister, we got you. You know, let's just reschedule. Let's... No. You want that Umar effect. Umar Johnson has been opening a school for 10 years and people still give him money. That's what you want. You want a, let's go on a retreat. Let's go up in the mountains. Let's go breathe deep and all that kind of stuff. And they're saying, no, sister girl, where's my money? The three of wands is a new beginning. This is expansion. 
This is going to keep going. You're not done. They're not done. And that's what's really bothering you is the fact that this, this is not going away. And then you get mad that everybody on YouTube has an opinion about it. Well, that's what happens. Judgment card. This is going to fall down on you for this is going to be the overarching theme of what we're about to do right now. The Ten of Pentacles is a, a card. It's usually a card of financial stability. Let's see what it surrounds. There's the sun. There's your confirmation, your joy, your light, your peace. There is inner conflict. That is what you are battling with. It would not be an inner conflict. Well, let me keep going. I'll just, I'll just, I'll wait on what I was about to say. King of Wands. There is the fire energy man. Okay, so what I'm getting right now, we'll see what happens in the end. But you know what? I'm going to keep going. I'll read the big picture to you. There's the emperor. There's the world under the sun. Under your indecision is the eight of cups. That is abandonment. Under the king of wands is the hermit. It pops back up for you again. Under the emperor is the eight of pentacles. That is work. Under the world is the eight of swords. There is a cage. You are trapped. Under the abandonment is the six of wands. That is public. And under the hermit is the seven of cups. That is confusion. Okay, so let's go back and see what we're dealing with. First, we got the judgment card. The judgment card is the card that is going to show you why and how you messed up. For it is going to come back to you. This is resolution. Underneath that, the Ten of Pentacles, that happy money, that happy home, that financial security and stability. Right next to it is the Sun card. The Sun is sort of joy and confirmation. Peace and light and all that. Then you have indecision and inner conflict. Right after the money, right after the joy, right after the confirmation, right after everything starts to go your way, you start to feel some kind of way about it because you do know what it is you are doing. So you're not a person without conscience. You're just not a person who gives into that conscience because somebody, there is another man, showed you how to. Because right after him, you get the emperor. This is order and authority, but this is also hyper-masculine energy. This is someone who taught you how to be deceptive. This is the world. This is what they taught you. They taught you how to tell people one thing and then do another. Right after that is abandonment. After all the shit hit the fan... That's when you get the Hermit card. The Hermit card is a card of deep thought. It is introspection. It is retreat. Sometimes it is sorrow. That is sorrow. And sometimes that is sorrow. Then there's the Eight of Pentacles. This is work. This is your retreat. What is around your retreat? The Eight of Swords. You are being trapped by what happened. Because now people are not going to let it go because it's all out in the public. You were the celebrated person. That is what the six of the wands means. The celebrated person. Right after that is the confusion. If you didn't steal the money, then what did you do? People are still wondering. People still want to know. You want for the outlook to be something else. Right after this is your immediate future, saying that this is a public thing now, you were now you're going to ask for money for something else. I don't know if you'll get it or not, but you're going to ask money for something else that is coming because you have a new plan, you have a new outlook. Something has already materialized, something you have something else planned. That is what this says. Because if you didn't have anything planned, then you would get the two or you would get the ace. Like you're having a plan that is going to come up out of the six. 
But no, once you get the money, you'll be able to do whatever this is. This could just be your defense counsel, whatever it is. But after you get the money, you got something else in store. I don't know what it is, good or bad. I just, this is what I see. You have something else coming. Maybe you're doing another retreat. Maybe you are going to sell yoga mats. I don't know. But you got a project coming. It is coming down the pike. Once you get the money, there is the judgment card. Like I said, this is your overall theme. The judgment is resolution. It is reaping what you sow. But you are going to, I guess, somehow put an end to this. But in your final, you had your work and your confusion. So you did all this to yourself once somebody taught you how to... Then maybe the pro-Africa movement was not going to be the most profitable. What was going to be the most profitable for you was now that... Well, no, I, I will say it this way. You can do the pro-black movement because black people love leaders. They love the save. They have the savior complex. They want somebody to come along and speak the language. We are very good orators, so we know how to whip up a crowd. And so what you did is you got people to follow you. Once you got people to follow you, then... This person, whoever taught you, hey, once you get the crowd, you can then take them where you want to. Because once you've got the whole tip movement, once you've got the black conscious community, now they followed you into your holistic wellness community and they love you. And you now seem like such a deeper person that I'm going to give you $60,000 and I'm not going to ask for it back. Like Umar. All you have to do is tell people you're building something. You're working towards something. You're trying to start something. Maybe that's how it is that you get the money for this new venture is just by telling people, hey, if y'all believe in me, donate. Get your PayPal or Patreon or whoever and just say, hey, this is, this is what I want to do. Let's do it. There's your idea. Just like I said, you do have an idea. Once you get the money for it, it will materialize. I didn't say it was a good idea. I didn't say it was a bad idea. It's just an idea that you had. And once you get the money for it, it will be there. There will be some more inner conflict, so it is not a good idea. It is yet another idea to make more money. Here's a thought. Why don't you get the idea together to be a more honest person? I don't know what you're planning, but if your felony conviction did not teach you anything, it should have taught you, you cannot get away with this stuff forever. There's your preparation. You have an idea. You're starting to prepare. I don't know what it is. Like I said, you could just be selling yoga mats. But whatever it is, once you get the money, you are going to go through with it. Maybe you shouldn't. 